Lip rolls. Um, we've talked about lip rolls so many times, and so many people uh, um, come to the studio to uh, um, take the lessons, and I still see some trouble with lip rolls. In fact, for me, when I first started taking with Brett a couple years ago, I had no idea you could do lip rolls wrong, but it's very possible. And what makes it wrong is you push through the lip rolls. You make them harder than they really are. If you lay back and relax as you do them, it makes it much easier. Focus on the air coming through, but keep it small. You don't want to push the air just enough to keep a steady airflow from the bottom to the top. When I go higher, I actually pull my sound back. I pull my sound back and I focus on having that dopey, relaxed shape. And the sound focuses more on the lips and a clear tone rather than that's more air and I end up yelling. If I stay dopey with it, think of a big dopey B, it's much easier to do it. And it helps keep the larynx not pull up too much. Don't be afraid if the larynx pulls up a little bit. It's natural, that's normal. When you speak and you fill your larynx, it's not that low. It's actually fairly high, actually. When you keep that dopey sound, it doesn't lift too high, it lifts to a more neutral position. So you're using a nice, soft, easy airflow with a relaxed larynx, also controlling your lips a little bit, keeping your fingers slightly behind the lips, pushing them back to cause about the same amount of tension if you were building some consonants when you're normally singing.